Why should I be excited about small modular reactors and what NuScale is doing with them? Uh, NuScale has developed a reactor that uh, takes already safe nuclear power and makes it much safer. Uh, it has the, an opportunity to reach markets that larger plants can't reach. Uh, if you think about uh, people throughout the world, there are two billion people uh, that don't have electricity at all. And if you look at the growth of uh, uh, the welfare of people throughout the world, electrification is going to be key. And being able to reach them with technologies that can help them uh, achieve that goal is going to be very important. And NuScale will, will play a, a huge role in being able to do that. What is the one thing that NuScale does that the other companies in this space doesn't do? Uh, our plant is small. It's entirely factory manufactured. The factory manufacturing includes the manufacture of the containment. Uh, and so we have a plant that uh, you can build a building, uh, and then over time you can add new units to that building without having to build a new building. Uh, so it gives us scalability, it gives us modularity. Uh, and then each of our units is in a pool of water. So we have the heat sink that's necessary to keep a reactor cool after it shuts down. We don't have a Fukushima problem. We don't need electrical power. Uh, to keep uh, the reactor cool after it's shut down. So we ha have a significant safety advantage, I think. Um, right now, you know, the economy is very, very uh, morbid. One would say slow. What kind of job creation potential is there with a company like NuScale? Uh, we would be uh, manufacturing our plant uh, in a factory. Um, and uh, uh, right now, a lot of the major components uh, for nuclear plants have to be sourced overseas because we don't have the manufacturing capability. Uh, the size of the plant we produce uh, is small enough that American manufacturing can uh, meet the need. And so we are able to access a number of American manufacturers uh, and create jobs for them. A lot of folks are concerned about uh, America's continued leadership in the nuclear space. What does new scale mean in that area for American leadership? Well, first of all, they need to be concerned about that. Uh, if, if we want to be a player, we want to sit at the table uh, to influence uh, international global policy on issues like pro proliferation, for example, we need to be a participant. And uh, New Scale, as an American company that's entering the American market, uh, gives us an opportunity to do that, gives us an opportunity to do it in a responsible way, uh, and be a participant in shaping those policies. Who's your ideal customer? Who do you want to see buying your reactor? Um, there are many ideal customers. Uh, one ideal customer is a, an electric utility uh, that isn't big enough for a large plant uh, that uh, would be serviced by a plant that's in the 200 to 500 megawatt range uh, and have an ability to expand. A different ideal customer would be uh, islands. Uh, in the South Pacific, there's an island that we've talked to where their total load is about 80 megawatts, uh, and it's all serviced by diesel, which is dirty and expensive. Uh, and so we have an opportunity to go to them meet their need. Uh, there are relo remote locations in uh, various parts of the world, some in well-developed countries, the northern border of Canada, Alaska, uh, where uh, a modular reactor is just a perfect installation for them. So uh, I don't think there's any one perfect customer. I think we have a lot of customers that uh, would be good for us. Paul, I want to thank you very much for your time.